I, I got the impression of a very dynamic, really incredibly devoted guy mm -hmm. uh, who was very full on as a bhakta, as uh, someone who uh, really had it in his heart very deeply and in his being very deeply to focus on his spiritual journey. And that um, he fortunately met with a master that uh, was the most amazing gift to him. And I was interested in not so much Francis, but those glimpses of Baba and, and what was he like, because I'd never heard much about him. And uh, But Francis came across as a very, very surrendered, very devoted guy. I mean, when they told that story about he'd met this the love of his life in America, and then he goes to meet Baba, and then Baba says, go back to Australia, and he's got to leave her behind. Mm. That's a heck of a call. Mm. Yeah. You know, and he did. And he's, you know, that's, yeah. you know, a lot of me mortals would say, well, look, Baba, I, I've got this love of my life here, you know, uh, whatever. I don't know, maybe he did have that conversation with him. Yeah. Um, but he went. Yeah. And going back to uh, smashing rocks and building a place in Camden, was it? Uh, Beacon Hill. Beacon Hill. Yeah. Um, so, uh, the, the, but the overall, I got the impression of someone that was um, really one pointed, mm. very, very deeply one pointed in his sub now. Mm. Mm. Uh, mm. That is a great thing for anybody to be able to achieve that. Mm. Um, second to that was the the pleasure I had of spending this weekend amongst fellow seekers mm. um, and being in the company of people that are looking at the divine it is great mm. and, uh, I've been a little bit starved for that mm. and uh, I think that the legacy of, of um, here we stand the legacy of all that mm. in, in this beautiful garden and this, uh, these people have come here to honor this one man who was focused on Mayor Baba, and uh, I'm very thankful I had the opportunity to be here. There was that um, uh, many moments that came up uh, that reminded me of my experiences with Pranayanga and Swami Muktananda. Um, one where they talked about Baba going into the female, having been out giving darshan, and then he went into the female mandali and he just dropped this whole shining persona that he'd been presenting to the public. And I'd seen that with my own group. Mm. Uh, and it really is a tremendous giving of themselves mm. to the people that come. Um, endless giving, endless giving, and then in private they just sort of drop that and they become quite different. Uh, and then they go into recharge mode, I guess. Um, there was that. There was um, Overall, the devotion, I suppose, is the other one. You know, different songs, different approaches, but uh, it's the same idea. Mm. And the, um, uh, I didn't hear anything so much about the mystical, but um, uh, just the, the practical world experiences of these people. And just look at all these people who came up here and were here when Mayor Baba came here and contributed towards the making of this place it was wonderful. And I've been through that. I've helped build ashrams for Muktananda in America and in Australia and uh, in, in India. Um, and it all resonates the same. It's, a lot of, it's not an easy thing to be with the master. I found it incredibly difficult. I was there for 10 years. And it was like being burned all the time, you know, constantly crushing of the ego. And I blew it many times and got thumped for that. Not thumped physically, but thumped psychologically or spiritually or something of that nature. But it seemed like it was the same. Uh, and yet, uh, my guru used to talk about the, the guru being like a potter. He would have his hand inside the pot, supporting the pot, but he'd be beating it on the outside. And it would be a little bit like this, that it sounds, it sounds to me like Mayor Baba was somewhat similar. Mm. He'd be supporting on the inside, but he might give you a bit of a hard time on the outside. Mm. Mm. Um, so that was, uh, yeah, it was, it was the, and the love that I've experienced from all the people here has been tremendous. A lot of graciousness. Thank you for that.
pity I never met the two of these, these two beings. Maya Barbara is actually interesting. It's almost 40 years since I first met, heard of Maya Barbara, and that was only on a small card. And I was in California, and it just said, don't worry, be happy. And I was a little bit stoned at the time, and I thought, oh, that's a very nice idea. Uh, but that was it. Uh, I never heard any more than that, and even all of the years I spent in India, I never heard any talk of Maya Barbara. Um, but the fact that it, it, this legacy is going on, and here in Avatar's abode, uh, one can come to this beautiful location and experience something of that. And the, and the two times, I, I found myself a couple of times in the hall when everybody had gone, you know, setting up camera equipment or putting it away or whatever, and the place was empty. It was just me. And it was so familiar to me. Mm. I did that many, many years with Muktananda where I'd be fiddling around, setting things up or taking them apart. But the energy was there. And the same thing I felt here, the energy was in the hall. It was down there last night. Mm. I was there for about 11.30 packing up. And even in here, in the hall here, uh, I could feel that. Mm. But that, to me, uh, resonated very strongly with me. And, uh, so I'm fortunate that I was able to be here. Thank you. Well, I, I tried to imagine what it was like here when they first came. This piece of land uh, with all the, the work that had to be done and had to be done in a very short amount of time. Um, I know that wild energy that takes place when the guru's on his way and you've got to get it set up in time for the guru's arrival. It's a crazy wild energy that takes place and amazing it's like a film being sped up and things do get done and here it is uh, many many years on. Thank you.